Number 59. Lysozyme is an enzyme that cleaves cell walls. A 0.100 liter sample of a solution of lysozyme that contains 0.0750 grams of the enzyme exhibits an osmotic pressure of 1.32 times 10 to the negative 3 atms at 25 degrees Celsius. Assuming ideal uh, solution behavior, what is the molar mass of the lysozyme? Okay, so they're dropping a lot of numbers here. They gave us 0.100 liters. I have a gram sample of this lysozyme, and um, it's an enzyme, right? So they give me an osmotic pressure, and they're asking for the molar mass. So let's see, what is my general formula for molar mass? Well, remember, a molar mass is just like a fraction, right? It's always grams per mole. So it's grams of that certain substance divided by the moles. Now, if we want to find the molar mass of the lysozyme, it's got to be how many grams I have of that lysozyme, lysozyme, divided by the moles of how much I have of the, that lysozyme. Well, let's see. Did they tell us how many grams of the lysozyme we have? Yeah, it said that we had the lysozyme that contained 0.0750 grams of that enzyme. The enzyme is lysozyme. So we know the top part. We know 50% of the question. 0.0750 grams. Now, did they tell us what the moles were? Yikes. No moles here. So that's what we secretly have to find. I have to find out what the moles are, and then I can just do this division. So let's see, what formula are we going to use? Well, they gave us a liter. All right. We already used this gram, so we don't have to use it again. And they give me an osmotic pressure. Now, in chemistry, there is only one formula that specifically relates to osmotic pressure, and that's this formula right here. It's this pi formula. Pi equals capital M R T. Um, this this pi symbol. This is capital P. Um, lowercase p is the 3.14 that we use in in math. But this capital pi is your osmotic pressure. And osmotic pressure for this formula has to be an atm. And thank goodness, they gave it to us already in ATM, 1.32 times 10 to the negative third ATM. So I know that this number is going to be that. 1.32 times 10 to the negative third ATM. Okay. Equals capital M. Capital M is always the molarity. Did they give me a molarity in this question? No, right? They gave me a liters, but not a molarity. All right. An R value is the standard constant value. There's two constants for capital R, but since we're using pressures, we're dealing with the 0 0.0821, or if you want to be more specific, 0 0.08206. The units for the R value is ATM per liter over mole times Kelvin. That's why all these units have to follow the R value. So ATM goes with ATM. And for the temperature, which is capital T, if the R value says that we need it in Kelvin, this temperature needs to be in Kelvin. They gave me 25 degrees Celsius. So we could just quickly convert, right? 25 degrees Celsius plus 273. If you want to be more specific, plus 273.15, that will get you the Kelvin. And that's 298, 298.15 Kelvin. So we have the osmotic pressure, check. We have the R value, check. We have the temperature, check. We are solving for the molarity. That will give us one step closer to finding those moles. So let's plug it in. Maybe I'll start over here. 1.32 times 10 to the negative 3 equals x times the R value times the T value. T was 298. 0.15 and the R value was 0 0.08206. If we want, we can multiply these two together just to kind of get one number on this side. So let's see. 0 0.08, that was weird, but we're just going to keep going on. 0 0.08206 
times 298.15. Okay, so we get 1.32 times 10 to the negative third equals 24.466 times x. We want to get x by itself, so we just divide. So 24.466, 24, 24.466, 24. that cancels out. And we are left with our molarity. So x equals, let's see, 1.32. If you want to put in times 10 to the without using parentheses, and if you have a calculator like this, you will press the second button and the comma. This ee means times 10 to the. So 1.32 times 10 to the, now all I have to do is plug in negative 3. And the calculator will always group that together. Divided by this answer, I'm just going to take the whole answer. And there we go, 5.395 times 10 to the negative fifth, and that's molarity. Okay, still not there yet because I'm still looking for the moles. But maybe the molarity formula will get me somewhere, right? What is now the general molarity formula? Ah, so let's move this up. Molarity just equals moles divided by liters, right? And we just found out the molarity, right? We just found out that this was 5.395 times 10 to the negative fifth molarity. Here's the moles that we can finally plug in here. And the liters of the solution, oh, they gave it to us, 0.1. It's already in liters, so we don't have to convert. So let's set it up. 5.395 times 10 to the negative fifth equals something over something. X, which is the moles, divided by the 0 0.100 liters. Cross multiply. No, that's going to clash with the blue over there. Christina does not like that. <laughs> uh, so here we go. And we get X equals this value times by 0.1, beautiful, 5.395 times 10 to the negative 6 moles. And finally we have the moles, 5.395 times 10 to the negative 6. So let's find that molar mass. Molar mass equals something divided by something else, the grams, which they told us in the beginning, 0 0.0750, divided by 5.395 times 10 to the negative 6. Okay, so 0 0.075 divided by, I'm just going to take the full answer here, just so that we get the most accurate answer at the end, because you should only round at the end of your final answer. And there we go. Uh, looks like three sig figs around here. So we'll give three sig figs. Significant figures. Molar mass equals, I'm going to just throw this into scientific notation. It would be 1.39 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4. And Grams and moles, they're not the same unit, so they don't cancel. So the unit for molar mass is always grams per mole. And that's the final answer. Maybe let's make this one green. Let's color this in. And that is the answer. Okay. Color, color, color. There we go. Beautiful. All right, I'm all done. Uh, thank you so much for viewing the video. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. I love talking to you guys, and I try to get back to you as, as much as I can. Um, uh, thank you for coming to the channel. If you want to help us out, please hit the subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool YouTube channel. I think it's pretty cool. Um, nothing better than having a study buddy 24-7, anytime you want it. And, you know, to, to, to basically learn at your own pace. Do the problems, you know, at your own time. And I think it's a beautiful thing. Thank you so much for coming here, and I will talk to you soon, okay? Have a great, great, great day. Bye-bye.